Welcome back guys, I am Muni from smarttutorials.net. This is a series of tutorials on integrating jQuery autocomplete with Laravel, KPHP and Codeignitor frameworks. Please check the video description for the demo and download link. In this tutorial we are going to integrate jQuery autocomplete with the Laravel framework. Uh, so this is what we are going to build. Uh, we will start with a simple and go advanced. So in simple jQuery autocomplete. Um, user can do such as an employee ID to get the employee details. It makes a just call based on the search query to get the results. When user selects any employee ID, so it auto fills the particular employee details. So for that, I am using autocomplete database. In that employee table, uh, that joins with the departments and designation, designation to get the particular employee details. So in multi text field autocomplete, user can do such as in any one of the text fields to get the so country details. But in simple jQuery autocomplete, uh, user can do such only on employee ID. So let's see how to integrate this. <laughs> now we're gonna integrate simple jQuery autocomplete in Laravel. So for that, I made a fresh installation of Laravel, that is Laravel Auto. Next, I downloaded the dependency for the jQuery autocomplete, that is jQuery and jQuery UI, and put it in the put it in um, public css and js folders so if you're gonna integrate only uh, jquery autocomplete uh, then don't download the full jquery ui uh, library so just download the uh, scripts that record for jquery autocomplete so click on custom download toggle everything and click on autocomplete then go down and click on download it will download the script that record for the only for jquery autocomplete uh, finally, I uh, download the uh, booster for styling purpose and put in the CSS and JS folders. Next, open the project in your favorite editor. I'm opening it in Visual Studio Code. Now, uh, I created employees controller in the app HTTP controllers directory. Inside the employees controller, I created three pages index, single, and multi. Also, I added the views file for that. Inside the resources, uh, views and employees directory next I have included uh, the routes for the three pages in the routes and web.php okay so next I have uh, in the single.blade.php I have added the form and uh, text fields that relate to the employees okay now let's check how it looks so click on a uh, simple autocomplete yeah next i'm adding uh, autocomplete for a uh, functionality for this employee id text field so i'm selecting id of the text box and uh, attaching autocomplete to the text box and passing options initially i'm passing some static data for testing purpose Okay, now reload and check. Banana. Yeah, it's okay. So, um, when user selects, uh, if you want to uh, get the selected data and do some more operations, attach select event to this. This select events get fired when user selects any one of the data. Okay. For example, I just consult um, type BA, yeah, banana. So I've selected banana now. It got consult. So, whatever the selected item is, you get in the select event callback. Okay, so uh, jQuery uh, autocomplete will accept uh, as input either array of values or uh, array of objects. When you supply as an array of object, each object must have label and values uh, in that object okay so i'm showing the difference between these two um, so when you supply as an array of values uh, when you search it will show the, the data based on the, your search so if i select any data in the selected callback i will get the selected um, data values so if you see i get the only one data if you supply as an uh, array of values but when you supply as an array of object I'm just reloading it if you search so in the selected item you see uh, the selected items 
we will get as an object for example uh, i search it i selected employee id of 61 so i have more data so i can easily refill the first name last name everything okay. so far we have uh, we supplied static data to auto complete so i'm planning to remove the static data and uh, provide uh, dynamic data so for example when user searches something so we'll make a just call uh, to the back end to get the response and we will show the um, response based on the user searches okay so for, for for that what i'm doing i'm removing this static dummy data and assigning callback function this callback function will uh, will accept two parameter so you can name it whatever uh, with the variable name a b or x y z okay so i am giving some meaningful name request and data this callback will get triggered when user starts such as something in the text box for example reload it i am searching a so when user searches this callback get triggered in the first parameter we will get as an object okay so using that data will make an adjust call to the get employees method for example here using that request uh, data it makes an adjust call to the get employees method in employees controller in get employees i am you know return a query that joins with the department designation table and it executes and returns the um, response so once we get the response this success callback will will get triggered the data is array of object i am formatting that data into the array of object only but each object must have the label and value so here what i am doing is here the response is there i am using jquery map function i am formatting that data um, from this data into like this okay so finally format data i am passing that format data uh, to this callback function i am calling that callback function i am returning that formatted data so if there is no data we will pass this as a uh, default data okay there is match found for the search okay I am um, searching it 6 I selected um, uh, employee ID of 64 this when I select this callback get triggered um, I am selecting all the text boxes and assigning the values so I just reload and select it made a Ajax request and got the response um, I formatted and uh, when I select callback get executed in the select callback I selected all the text boxes and assigned the value okay we successfully integrated simple jquery autocomplete in next tutorial we will see how to integrate multi text field jquery autocomplete with the laravel thanks for watching please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the updates immediately